Hello, students. I want to take this opportunity to talk to you a little bit about your uh, visual affordances of social media log reports and a uh, final uh, visual communication in the news item that I uploaded to our Canvas site. So um, one or more of you mentioned that this was a particularly busy semester in terms of social media in that uh, more than one of them seemed to uh, substantially revise themselves, how they worked, uh, what uh, they offered to you, etc. And so that was something that was uh, quite true. And so the final addition to visual communication in the news is an article from the New York Times from two days ago, April 30th, and it says, Facebook still dominates, but let's check in on the other social networks. So it talks about Facebook, it talks about Twitter, and some changes that they have undergone. It talks about Snapchat, and now one of the things that Snapchat is redoing is uh, this uh, sort of sunglass option that they have. Uh, I think they're called, uh, if it's a Snapchat uh, goggles, maybe. And so the first effort was unsuccessful, and it cost them about $40 million. Um, and if we if you recall, there was a thing called Google Glass that was also unsuccessful, or Google pulled the plug on it. And this has to do with the fact that many people uh, are not comfortable with the idea that they're interacting with people who are wearing glasses that could be videotaping them or could be taking their photograph, etc. Uh, and then it finally, it talks about YouTube. So the point of the article is that each one of these social media platforms is changing itself as it competes with similar social media platforms. And all of them are competing for our participation as people who will upload content. Uh, and as uh, I mentioned in a previous post, uh, if it's free, you're the product. So these tools are free to us and we are the product because we keep providing uh, content uh, for them to be publishing. And then one of the things eventually they get to do is sell advertising to the people who come to the site. So. Um, several of you mentioned some very interesting ways in which social media um, sort of has caused you to do things, in some cases that are rather strange. Uh, one of you commented that um, you use one platform more, but you enjoy the other one more. So uh, uh, it's possible that some of our uses of social media are not all that satisfying to us. A couple of you mentioned the possibility of uh, they make you angry. Um, nobody in this class, but in other contexts, I've heard people say that they make them sad. So um, as you thought about your use of social media, several of you came up with some very interesting insights. In some cases, I'm not sure I buy your assertion, but I will have to look at my own use and, and the use of the people that I follow and my friends and see if uh, these observations that you might made might have some merit to them. But I was very happy to read that multiple of you uh, actually enjoyed this assignment and uh, seemed to have learned quite a bit from it. And uh, sort of as an educator, I'm all in favor of learning. So I'm glad that you, uh, you learned things. And uh, I was uh, quite pleased and impressed by the ver variety of insights that you came up with in terms of um, how these social media were functioning with respect to you and how you were operating with respect to these social media. And one of you mentioned that, um, you know, we need to remember that we do have some control. We don't have complete control. And in many cases, the uh, purveyors of the software uh, have actually taken control over things without us knowing it. And so the recent scandals revolving um, third party use of private data, personal data that was in Facebook, um, were sort of uh, disconcerting. But if you keep in mind that the more you know about how it works and the more you know about how you use it, including there are some interesting observations where uh, someone mentioned that um, they use one primarily for information and the other one primarily for entertainment, and then they sort of switched that around and tried using the entertaining one for information and the informative one for entertainment. And um, that resulted in the tool itself working differently for them. So one of the things that some of you noticed, uh, your behavior in the tool 
affects how the tool then responds to you and your behavior. So uh, what I did was I, I took your uh, reports that you wrote and uh, I went into uh, Microsoft Word and I put my comments in, in square brackets and then uh, uploaded that up to you so you can see my comments and then I put the scores into Facebook so I will soon uh, unmute those. So I just wanted to uh, sort of express my um, uh, admiration and appreciation for the variety of interesting and I think useful insights that you came up with in this project. So I will uh, save this video, upload it to YouTube, post it in Canvas, and then I will unmute the grades for your BASML project report. Uh, and then soon I will turn to looking at your final projects and uh, give you responses on those uh, within the next few days. Talk to you later.